Long before the Spanish galleons, before the first wave of colonizers arrived, the islands of the Philippines were already home to a people with a legacy older than empire. From the bones of Calo man to the gold-laden boats of Butuan, from the scripts carved in stone to the DNA passed through generations, Filipino blood carries the story of warriors, navigators, artists, and survivors. This is not just history. This is identity, etched in bone, carved in gold, and written in the strands of DNA itself. Before there was a Philippines, there were people, roaming these islands over 67,000 years ago. In 2007, deep inside Calo Cave in Cagayan, scientists uncovered a small footbone. They thought it was a modern human, until carbon dating shattered expectations. This was Calo Man, now believed to be an entirely new species of ancient human, Homo luzonensis. Even earlier, on the island of Palawan, the Taban Caves revealed skeletal remains of what became known as Taban Man, dating back over 47,000 years. These weren't just bones, they were proof that the Philippines was one of the first homes of early humans in Southeast Asia. So where did the ancestors of modern Filipinos come from? Through genetic testing, a major pattern emerged. Most Filipinos carry a unique blend of Austronesian DNA, an ancient seafaring race that spread from Taiwan, through the Philippines, into Malaysia, Polynesia, Madagascar, and beyond. Using advanced DNA sampling and mitochondrial markers, studies show the Austronesians began their great migration 4,000 to 5,000 years ago, settling in the Philippines and using it as a jumping-off point for the Pacific. But they didn't just pass through, they built here, they became Visayans, Tagalogs, Ilocanos, Lumads, and they traveled in ships unlike any the West had seen. Enter the Balangay, a massive wooden boat, sewn together with fiber and bone tools. These weren't rafts, they were maritime warships, trade vessels, and exploration platforms. In 2012, the Butuan excavation site revealed a fully preserved balangay, dating back to the 4th century CE, proof that the Filipino people were masters of the sea long before Spain. Modern DNA tests across the Philippines show something incredible. The average Filipino is not just Austronesian. They carry traces of Negrito, Ada, Ati, Ancestry, among the oldest continuous bloodlines in Asia. Chinese and Indian traders, evidence of pre-colonial commerce. Arab and Persian genes, likely from Islamic missionaries and traders. And yes, traces of Spanish, American, and Japanese, from colonization and war. But the majority is Austronesian, proving that the core of Filipino identity has always been islander, warrior, and traveler. One landmark study from the University of the Philippines and the Max Planck Institute found that many Filipino ethnic groups today still preserve unique genetic fingerprints of their ancestors, especially in Mindanao, the Cordilleras, and Palawan. Long before Spain arrived, the archipelago was not primitive. It was a network of gold-rich kingdoms, ruled by datus, rajas, and sultans. Ancient records from Chinese, Indian, and Arab traders mention kingdoms like Tondo, a trading powerhouse. Butuan, known for its gold and ships. Ma Yi, mentioned in Chinese records as early as 900 CE. Sulu and Maguindano sultanates, with deep Islamic ties. Filipinos wore pure gold jewelry, practiced sophisticated governance, and had their own scripts like Baiba Yin and Kuladan. Even Spain wrote in awe, they have more gold than clothes. The Filipino bloodline survived invaders, colonizers, genocide, and wars. From Magellan to MacArthur, the islands were pulled into the storm. But even through forced migrations, language erasure, and slavery, something remained unbroken, the Filipino spirit. It's in the music, the food, the faces, it's in the stories passed down over fire and rain. The DNA proves one thing, Filipinos didn't just survive history. They shaped it. The story of the Filipino bloodline is not a tale of conquest, but of endurance. Through tens of thousands of years, through volcanoes, migrations, invasions, and revolutions, the islands have remained a crossroads of history and humanity. From Calo Man to the Austronesians, from gold trading thrones to the diaspora nurses of today, Filipino identity was never a gift from colonizers. It was always there, carved in the bone, etched in the skin, carried in the blood. This is the legacy of a people who remember, who adapt, and who endure.